Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Reality Realness with three S's. I'm your host, Chantel Francis, here to talk about episode 16 of Love Island USA season six. And the discourse is explosive out there. So I wanted to get in and watch this episode so I can jump in. Oh, boy. Um, and I'm realizing that, oh boy, is something that I say a lot, which is funny. So maybe I should get t-shirts made that says, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> I do say it a lot. Now, what is going on, where we left at was basically Leah being confronted by Rob and then Leah pulling Liv in thinking that Liv is going to be on her side, but Rob already got to her and Kaylor and kind of shifted their opinions and thoughts towards Leah um, to to be in a way that was negative. And so everything kind of got spun and now it was like Liv and Rob against Leah. And I feel as though because Liv was getting kind of frazzled, sorry, um, Leah was getting kind of frazzled and she was, you know, had these two people coming at her and she doesn't remember exactly what she said and she's not explaining herself well. She's being called a liar and maybe she was telling some half-truths or some lies, but I don't think that how it all went down was really fair to Leah. And to me, it felt like it was Rob... Uh, trying to get Liv to or Leah to be the bad guy to be to be the evil one the, the one that everybody's going to dislike so it will distract from however he is acting um it's I think it's another smoke screen and that's to me it seems what Rob seems to do is he'll make a big commotion so to distract from what he's really doing or how he's really acting or how he's really feeling or how he's coming across. He, he, he just thwarts the, the, the blame and the, the focus. Um, it's very manipulative in my opinion. Um, now I don't know if this is how he is as a person, but this is just the character that he's playing on this TV show. And that's what I'm seeing from him. Um, so we're going to see a little bit more of this aftermath. We're going to see if Serena and, Jen, uh, well, Janae wasn't part of that, that decision, or Kaylor, if they come to somebody's defense or if they lay everything out there. Like, we're going to see the aftermath of this play out. Um, when we left off on my shit list was Kayla, Kaylor, Liv, Aaron, obviously Rob. Serena redeemed herself, in my opinion, with her immediately standing up for Leah and like without any question, you know, that's kind of what I would think that our friend would do is being like, hey, you're not going to gang up on my friend. And then maybe on a one on one on one conversation, be like, OK, what's happening here? Like, what's going on? I, I just think that. I, I appreciate how Sarita came in and, and stopped that from happening because like, I don't think that was fair. Um, and we haven't seen Janae's side of it. Obviously, she wasn't part of that conversation, so she won't really have an opinion there. But I, I still like Janae. Um, and I guess I wish that she never kind of volleyed that Leah and... Rob should get back together or that's what everybody wants because I feel like this gave him the idea to really, really stomp out Leah here. Um, yeah, I just, I just, I don't really like it. I know there's a lot of people that are super team Liv and think that she's doing the Lord's work here and calling out Leah as a liar. And I just don't, fully agree because I think that Liv is going so strong is because she did have a pretty vocal um, push towards her, like what ended up happening. Like she was, she was the one that was, in my opinion, quite forward with her opinion on, you know, the fact that she thinks that between Andrea and Nicole, that Andrea should leave and that Nicole should stay because she has two people that she's exploring connections with. And, she, you know, Andrea already found somebody like she was quite vocal, in my opinion, on that more vocal than Leah was. In my opinion, but anyways, there's there's definitely a divide on people that are siding with Liv and siding with Leah. 
right now I'm team Leah. It could be because I like Leah more and maybe I'm not seeing things uh, clearly because I, I like her. Um, and I think that they're ganging up on her. And I think that Rob is manipulative. And I think that he, 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 is ganging up on her with the most impressionable people, um, especially because Liv is probably still irritated with Leah from the whole Rob situation. So I don't know, but we're going to jump into this episode and find out how it all sells up. I think there's going to be a dumping at the end of this episode. So uh, I think the last um, recap that I did, I thought that Leah might be going home, but I'm realizing that it's um, women's choice this episode. So there's um, less women than men because we got two guys that came in um, being Kenny and... Um, Nigel. So uh, there's more men than women in the villa. So a man is going to be going home. So Leah is going to be safe. I'm not sure yet how things are going to shake out with these couples. Um, when we get closer to the recoupling, I will, or like right before the recoupling, I will, I'll give my opinion on who I think is going to be chosen by that person. So give me the, the episode lead up to figure out like, who's actually vibing with whom, especially with these three new Islanders that are coming into play. All right, let's get to the episode. To dinner. She was very vocal about sending um, Andrea home. That's not taking a backseat. That's being like a passenger princess. Wait, that's being a passenger princess? I don't know. Okay, a passenger is somebody that's along for the ride. And a princess is that is getting maybe people do things for them. So that would be taking a back seat, if in my opinion, right? Like letting people do things for you without having to dictate. So I don't really get your analogy there, Liv, personally. Um we know how I feel. And I'll just say it one last time, hopefully, hopefully. But I think that when Leah is saying passenger, when they're saying backseat, she is meaning that she wasn't going full throttle, like no holds bar, like guns blazing. This is what I want to happen. Like, I don't think that she, like how she was defending herself here wasn't the same energy that she was giving to that decision. Um, and so I think that that's, her idea of taking a back seat is not forcefully getting her her uh, decision her what she wants to be the decision that's made. So I agree with Leah still, and uh, hopefully Kendall, you get on the right side of history because in my opinion, I'm not a fan of the group that you're sitting with over there. <laughs> I think she just likes to literally. Are you with some people? people just live for the drama? She does, and she thinks she's the drama, but like you're just mean. Interesting. So Leah says that she thinks that she's the drama, but she's just mean. And Hakeem did say that she was the most negative person in the house. And you know what? Like I I'm seeing the meanness now. Like if this if I was really good friends with Leah. And I heard from, like, Rob comes up to me and is like, yeah, like, I heard that she was saying this, 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 and this. There is no way that I would be siding with my with my friend's ex to say negative things about her. I would be going, be like, oh, my God, like, Leah, you won't believe what Rob just came up to me and said. He's trying to make it seem as though blah, 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 blah. Like, I would immediately be taking that information to my friend. And so the fact that Rob knew who he could go to, to get them to go and have a negative opinion about Leah. Like if Rob hadn't gone to Leah and um, gone to Liv and Ken Kaler about this, I think that Liv would have probably sided with Leah in when Leah called her over, but Rob got to her first and they already were like, she's the bad person. She's a lot. Like she are, they already, he already got them to be riled up against Leah. And so she wasn't coming in as Leah's friend. She was coming in as Rob's 
accomplice or Rob's, uh, you know, side, I don't know if side piece is the right word, but uh, henchman, like, you know, coming in with somebody that was on Rob's side. Not to. I would have liked to explain the meaning behind some of the things that were mentioned, but what's the point of trying to explain myself to someone who isn't even trying to hear it? And then to have him live on me, like... And, like, I, like I, because it was so high energy and so accusatory, like, she's explaining it to me pretty fine right now, but the, the dynamic that of how that was all going down, she wasn't able to really explain herself properly because she was be, being defensive. I'm the one sitting here and I'm the one to blame because Rob, the fucking drama queen, wants someone to blame. And he fucking, of course, I knew it. I literally said he said that they were going to blame me for it. And I fucking knew it. She did know that. But she should have waited a couple days. Waited a couple days. <laughs> uh, yeah, she. You did allow yourself to get looped into this, unfortunately, Leah. But hopefully, you've learned your lesson. You're not going to be tricked. And after cast some more, get back with Rob. Like, please, just don't do that. Stop letting these girls get. That's to what you. I'm saying. Stop. I'm so serious. I'm disappointed that you even let a bitch let you cry in here. I feel like they're just taking my words so wrong and like skewing it to make me seem like I'm like this like delusional mastermind. I, I, I agree. I agree. I would not want to be arguing with either of those two people because they make you feel like you are crazy and that what you're saying isn't doesn't make sense and that you're lying and that they're both they're both really good at this spin and I, 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 it's really hard to, I feel bad for Leah because she doesn't know how to get across the truth, uh, like she said, to people that don't want to hear it. And then they're just like making that whole other side of the house against her. So like you see Rob, he goes over and he's telling Connor about the situation and you see Liv telling Kendall about the situation. Now I think Kendall and Leah have a good relationship. So I think that Ke Leah is going to be able to explain to Kendall what was going on. But we already know that Aaron is like, wants Leah to be <laughs> exiled or <laughs> whatever. So it's definitely causing a divide in the house or the villa. I don't know if she's trying to win Rob back and she thinks that by saying that she wasn't the one that had any involvement in sending Andrea home so that he could potentially take her back. I honestly do not know. Oh, that's... I See, she's saying any involvement. And that's not what Leah said. She said that she wasn't an active participant. She wasn't making sure that this happened. It wasn't her master plan to get Andrea out. She That's... That I'm, I'm honestly like so like shaken up though. That was so nervous to have that conversation because I, she's so manipulative. I'm glad it's over. I'm glad I did it. Like for my sake, for Andrea's sake, it was just the right thing to do. But I don't know. Wish her the best. I for your sake, for Andrea's sake, like see, this was all. It was all for show. She he knows that it's going to be on TV. It's all for show because he didn't want to get back together with Leah because it wouldn't look good on him. Uh, he didn't want it to be it, like he he's it's all to for Andrea to believe that he's really there for her and he's going to be waiting for her and he's not going to let um, Leah get back with him and at her expense. And he's trying to play hero and throw out words like manipulative when he's the one that's manipulating the situation. If I said, you need to make a decision, without a doubt. You want me to make a decision? I do really want you to make a decision. I didn't know that me being coupled up with Kendall or talking to Kendall bothered him. So I'm glad he opened up with me about that because I didn't know. Yeah. I just don't know where my head's at, to be honest. So Obviously, it's going to bother people. I mean, I, Miguel, it might just be a little bit of game. Like, he wants to get the girl. He wants to win, essentially. Um, but... Like, nobody likes watching the girl that they're interested in play the field. And no girl likes to watch a guy that they're interested in play the field. It just, to them, it makes it seem like they're not the one that you're interested in. And it's fine. And 
you know, if you're in a couple with someone, I feel like you should just be giving them that energy. Maybe still go on dates, but I don't know if you should be kissing and this and like I don't know. I'm not I'm not sure how far you can explore your connections with other people and you're in when you're in dates from you know, a, a monogamous person like me. So I don't, I'm not sure if I'm the, the the proper judge of like how to be open on Love Island in your 20s in 2024. I'm not sure. But for me, I feel like you should make a decision pretty quickly because it just seems a little bit selfish to lead a couple people on until, until when? Like, well, how, how are you going to know who you like better or who you want to pursue? For me, I feel like you know right away. I don't know. And like being open, oh, we're still open, we're still open. It, I think it's just to not make the other person feel like you're caged in and locked in. Um, but for me, I would hope that they would want to just be focusing on me. So... Seems like Miguel only wants Nicole to be focusing on him, um, putting a little bit of pressure on. Um, so maybe she can make a decision. Fishing job. I'm just yeah. catch and release. My dad's oh, always I'm like, I'm a big Stop. catch and release, like I'm with like, trout no. and stuff. Yeah, I, I'll do, usually do catch and release. Mm -hmm. I think he's super sweet. I feel like we have a lot in common. He made me my first toasty, so he's getting extra bonus points. Ooh. So Cassidy, she's a little bit more animated in her diary room now. She's having her first kind of one-on-one -on -one time that we've seen anyways with Connor, making a toasty in the kitchen. Now, the first thing that she said was, I think she said it to him. It's like, I'm not like one of those girls that likes yelling at girls. Like, I don't yell at girls or I don't like seeing other girls yell at other girls. And I was like, was that a pick me kind of comment? Being like, I'm not like other girls. I'm not going to get into screaming matches over boys. Like, it seemed a little bit big me comment, but we'll just, we'll just let it slide. We don't know her very well yet, but just, I just noticed that. Now she's in there kind of hanging out with Connor in the kitchen, talking about how she's a vegetarian. She's never eaten any meat Then she loves animals and they're kind of bonding over fishing, um, catch and release styles. So they seem to get along so far. Um, and she seemed a little more animated talking about him. So he, he might have have a an option here because uh, he doesn't really have a connection right now. So maybe this is a connection. Maybe. 100%. Hey, 100% oh. Dominican. When I was younger, I had this weird feeling I was going to marry someone like Latino or Hispanic. Is that random? That's cute. Yeah, I just have this weird feeling. Who knows? Really like Kenny because I like the energy he was giving me, the vibe. Into our conversation, like everything was cute. Kenny's 100% Dominican. Hablas Espanol, Kenny. Um, yeah, I started busting out some Spanish. You're, the girls are going to go weak. Um, and for me, that makes him even cuter. Um, I just love learning about new cultures and diversity in different ways, different languages. And so I think that's my Venus in Sagittarius it means I like things that are otherworldly or far away countries. And so I guess Dominican's not <laughs> super far away from me, but you know what I'm saying? It's not my home country. I like them so far. They're having a little mini date in Soul Ties. Janae thinks that it was the best date that she had with him, and he was pretty surprised by that. Um, and she teases him, saying, don't let it get to your head. I'm I'm into this vibe. Uh, you know, she's a little bit older than him, so hopefully that doesn't stop the connection from happening because so far I think that they have good chemistry. I like them. I'm not going to sit there and let her convince everyone that she took a back seat in the conversation. If you're telling me that you're into this. Why does Liv need to be the person that makes sure that she's like being honest and she's the judge and she's a jury and she's not going to let her get away with it. Like, it's just, it's just so irritating. I think that if Rob hadn't gone to live uh, to live first, Liv and Kayla uh, with this, that she would have been able to hear Leah's side 
and she wouldn't have already have been on, on Rob's side and attacking Leah or like having just knowing where she's coming from and already building uh, a response to it. And so she already had like, she already had her ammunition. She already knew what Leah was going to say. And, and she already was able to not defend, but I guess offend, <laughs> you know, she's already able to, to give her offense and to tell Leah, like, no, that's not what it was because she wasn't caught off guard like Leah was. And so um, I do think that if it was organic and, and when Leah called her over, I think that she would have heard her, what she was saying, if she was, or wasn't already given the narrative by Rob. And you're fucking not, then you're wasting my time in here. It's just crazy how she just struck Buffy out of the mall. Y'all didn't deserve to be lied to like that. Arr! And now they're like tainted Cordell. Poor sweet Cordell is not really hearing, the, in my opinion, the, the truth of the situation. He said that if you're not telling me the truth about how you feel about me, then you're stringing me along. He didn't tell Janae the truth about how he felt about her. And he was essentially stringing her along until, until Leah was free and she, he can go and pursue Leah. So if that's not stringing someone along, I don't know what is. And then Rob was, well, I don't, I don't know if he was stringing someone along because he pretended like he cared for Leah so much, but he literally like didn't even allow her to have any feelings of what with him deciding between her and between Andrea. And then when she was sharing her feelings, he decided to, you know, put on the dramatics and, and crying and jumping in the pool and not speaking to anybody about what was going on and then go and jump over to Andrea and, just leave Leah like that. Like that's kind of stringing her along too. That if he didn't, if he really cared about her, he would have maybe handled that in a completely different way, but he didn't. And then also if he really cared about it, he wouldn't be allowing everybody to gang up on this one person about like twisted facts. Like she's not everything. Now that the narrative is that she's a liar, everything that she says is going to be considered a lie. And the fact that she's getting frantic over something is going to be evidence towards her being a liar. So she really can't get out of this vicious cycle of her being the villain and everybody throwing stones at her. Uh, yeah, it's definitely, uh, this is a kind of a group bullying tactic. It's, you know, it's mean girl. It's all of all of the above. Cause now she's the alienated one and everybody, everybody hates her. How, how am I meant to share a bed with Connor? You don't have to, you can sleep in my bed or we can go sleep outside. Soul ties. This is like dumb as fuck. You wanna sleep soul ties? I got you girl. See, Janae's a good friend. I love that Janae and Serena are both like, not allowing her to be completely ostracized by the entire group, um, which is exactly what Rob wants, is to deflect on the fact that he's an asshole. Um, and, you know, obviously Connor is excited to be able to do that too, because he was a jerk for trying to jump over to be with Leah, um, but he wants to deflect that onto Leah. Um, yeah. I'm happy that she has an option to not sleep in the bed with Connor and she's going to sleep in soul ties with somebody that regardless of any friction that they have had in the past, you know, they're willing to, she's willing to be a friend and share soul ties with her so that she doesn't have to sleep out there alone. So Janae and Serena are right now the only people in my good books. See you in the morning. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Who, are you Team Kendall or Team Miguel yet? I'm not telling you. Brother. And Nicole hasn't made a decision yet. <laughs> I mean, Aaron is being nosy and kind of gossipy about it. She, he wants, to, I'm sure that he wants Kendall to be the, the person that wins her affection or whatever. Um, I just wish you'd make a decision so that you could be building towards something. It being in limbo is just not that fun. Especially if you're the one that doesn't get picked in the end. That was my first time sleeping a uh, big solo bed, Rob. 
Where are all the girls? They're literally in soul ties. Why? Because of the drama, probably. Why do you think, Liv? She doesn't want to be in the room with all you jerks. Like, why? Get a clue. Really weird, honestly, about really? everything. Yeah, I just like feel like I've been thinking about it all night. I can still be your friend and a good friend, but I'm not gonna stand out there and lie for you. Because good friends wouldn't make friends do that. A hundred percent. Okay, she's saying she's gonna be a good friend, but how you did this, even even if I agreed with her being a liar and your version of how your interpretation of backseat, even if I agree, the way that you approach that situation, I just, I just don't, I, I wouldn't think that that would be a way a friend would come with me with their opinion about a situation. Like if say I called you over to back me up and be like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Leah, if I agree, if I, if I'm feeling the same way, like, I'm not sure. Um, do you want to talk about it? Let's talk about it separately, because like I'm I'm not sure how I feel about the whole situation. Calm, not like accusatory, pointing fingers. Like I think that she would be like, "What? Oh my god, really? Oh my god, let's talk about this. What do you mean?" Like she would want to understand your side of the story instead of defending herself. So I don't think that she approached it like a friend or a good friend. They haven't known each other for that long, so fine. She approached it like an enemy that was out for blood. Morning, morning. Liv, I would love to speak with you on the balcony. I would prefer if we could, like, both of us speak because I feel like we both were feeling the same situation. I just said it when I was saying that, but I'm not the only one. Okay, all four of us, let's go to all four of us make a decision. Okay, if it's all four, then fine. But the fact that, like... Leah is coming and she's like, I just want to speak to Liv because Liv was the one that was attacking her in that situation. And then Liv wants to bring Kayla into the situation because she felt the same way, but she was also it got the got the spin from Rob. Um, I'm happy that Serena's like, how about all four of us go and speak about that situation? And I'm I'm happy that Serena's not not willing allow willing to let Leah just be ganged up on to to be one. I apologize. I'm so sorry. That was the wrong fucking word on my dog's life. I did not mean backseat in the way that you guys thought it meant. I'm really grateful hearing out Kayla and Liv just because I get it from their point of view. You know, Leah is saying that she had no parts in it. Then I would feel a way too, because we did make that decision together. That's really all I, I cared about. Talk. I think that Leah spoke well. I think that she... I was willing to listen and she, I think I do feel like she took accountability. Liv still looks like she's angry and has a lot of vim towards Leah. Um, she said that she's Liv is still um, owning everything that she said, um, that she's a compulsive liar um, and that she stands by everything that she said down there, but then she doesn't. I don't know. So I guess she does still think that she's a compulsive liar or does she take that back? I don't know. Um, but I think that Leah is explaining herself well, and and it actually is the same way as I interpreted what she was saying and how she meant by it. And I also find it really irritating that Rob and Aaron are downstairs eavesdropping over this conversation because like they're just going to have more information just to be able to gaslight or manipulate um, you know people to be anti Leah even further. That's okay. I don't like conflict. I don't like any kind of, you know, misunderstanding, especially when it comes to like my friends in here and especially girls, you know, we're supposed to be a team and work together and communicate with each. Okay. So they hugged it out. I still don't trust Liv at all. Um, but like the solution was kind of exactly what I said that I wish that they had just had spoken about it beforehand. Um, and I think it's the fact that Rob got them kind of riled up about the situation. She was going in guns blazing as opposed to, and Leah did, had no idea that she, that she wasn't on the same page with how things went down with Liv and, and Kayla. Like she did, she just wasn't aware that the word that she used was going to give a completely 
wrong interpretation by or to um, Kayla and and Liv. And so I feel like I read the situation correctly. And it seems like from what Leah's saying that that's went down, how it went down for her and that she's apologized, that she used the wrong word. And so it seems like everything is ironed out between the women. I want to see, though, if, if Aaron's still going to be going in on Kayla. Like, no, she's awful. No, she's horrible. No, she's di disgusting. Like, she's such a liar. Like, I wonder if he's still going to be pushing that narrative. And I want to see how Kayla responds to it. Door. That conversation was never about making you look bad. That conversation was never about you were the only one in that vote and that you're the one who sent Andre at home. The conversation was simply about you've been lying to me. I'm done. It's over. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Sure, Rob. Sure. But see, they both of them see, he said like all oh, their pod just throwing around shit, horse shit up there. There's so they're like more lies. Like he's just, he doesn't even think that they would have come to like a, a good understanding of the situation. He says it's not about, it was the whole conversation wasn't about her looking bad. It was, a, it was more about the fact that he's, she's been lying to him and that he's done. Because I did have a good chat with Miguel and like, he finally told me like, I still really like him. Mm. The minute he kind of said that, you know, when you think I'm like, maybe it was like the chase a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's what I normally do. I think a guy is so hot. I don't really ever try to connect with them. Why did I even go for Miguel? Like, I hmm. So interesting. So she says that because Miguel kind of expressed his actual interest, she may have lost some interest in Miguel. Um, she's still going back and forth between the two of them but at this point it seems like she's leaning towards kendall because she's finding it hot that kendall is just not paying her any mind at, at, at really right now um she he's allowing her to do her exploration and not caring and so i think that that chase is making her interested in kendall and the fact that miguel says that he might be interested um is making her move more towards kendall you see you always run away when you're being chased right and when you're not being chased someone's running after you like you know that's just how it that's how it works so it's interesting but right now, I think that Kendall is winning the Miguel versus Kendall race here. Race for Nicole's heart. Physical level? Yeah. She is a very cool girl. And yeah. She's smart. Yeah, Despite 100%. everything I might have, you know, have gone through or Rob, it's like, still feel like it's probably worth, worth feeling worth out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Leah's always been an attractive woman. I've never not found her attractive I at all. Well, like probably... She has been on my mind a little bit. And yeah. I'm definitely gonna run that one up. Okay, plot twist. I, I mean, yeah, it seems as though whenever Leah's entangled with somebody, people are interested and they're kind of waiting to see if she ever becomes available. Uh, Miguel here thought that Connor and Leah were doing pretty well, that they were good. And so he didn't pursue, but he's always thought that she was Good, very attractive he does say that he has a, an emotional connection to nicole um and so that he is feeling nicole right now but leah is somebody that he might you know might have to have a little chat with and connor does say that she's a cool girl that she's smart and like you know beside all the things that aside from all the things that um she, he went through or rob went through he thinks that she still would be somebody to you know, pursue and see if there's anything there. So that's that's interesting. I, maybe he's having a change of heart that like, she's not really the villain. She didn't really do anything that horrible to him. I mean, the game is, was brutal, but that was the game. <laughs> it was just a game. I'm telling you, it's foam. <laughs> it's foam is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. Uh, Leah's just funny. Like <laughs> everything's crazy. Like I, I don't know. I I I enjoy Leah. Sorry, she. <laughs> I I prefer Leah over Liv. I it's seemingly like they're back together as a foursome, or like the girlies are fine. But I think that Liv will pop off again. Oh! Are you ready? Islanders. It's time to show who's got muscle in today's challenge. Oh, oh. shit. Flex appeal. Hashtag 
No pain, no gain. Hashtag drop it like a squad. I'm wearing that leotard to a wedding this weekend. So I wonder what came first, the name or the challenge? Uh, if I remember what was going on in the preview, we saw a little bit of it, and it seems like they're going to be deciding who like best matches a trait or something like that. Um, so appeal. So it could, maybe it's going to be like who has the best smile, who has the best chat, who has the, who's the biggest game player. Like I think it's going to be about people's appeal and attraction maybe. Um, but flex appeal is a play on words. It's also a little bit of a pun. So um, I think that the name came first and then they developed the challenge after. That's my thought. Then it's time to deflate some of the boys' egos by dropping a kettlebell on the face of the boy who best fits the statement. Which boy is the most arrogant? Oh. Which boy is the most arrogant? I think Rob. Who would Connor say? Or maybe Miguel? Rob or Miguel? I think it would go Miguel just because he's probably better friends with Rob. Oh, you, you. Oh! He thinks Karen, Kendall is the most arrogant? Wow. Really? So they have to drop the kettleball on the person that they find to be, to match the statement. I guess it's their flex appeal or what's the opposite of appeal? Is there an, an opposite to appeal that rhymes? Hmm. I, hopefully I can think of something for, for, for by the end of this challenge. He's so strong. He picked me up and went down. <laughs> so he chooses Cassidy for a little bit of a kiss. So let me just lay down what this challenge is. So they're at the top of something. They do some you know, muscly, like fake barbell lifting things. Slide down a pole. Uh, then I think they did get on the wobble board and make a protein shake and drink it. Then pick a question and bust the kettle ball over the person who best fits this question or statement or whatever. Um, and then choose the girl that they want to make out. No, he has to take a, a cold shower or a cold bath, Wim Hof styles, I guess. Then he picks a girl from the group, makes out with them behind the screen. That's as far as I got. I hope there's no other elements. Individual. Which boy is the biggest poser? Which boy is the biggest poser? Um, uh, maybe Miguel this time? I was surprised by Kendall for the last one. Biggest poser? He's not gonna choose Kenny, who he, or sorry, Nigel, who he came in with. Um, right now I'll say Miguel. Every time you walk by the mirror, you double take, bro. Come on now. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Going right, yay! Really, bro? Boy, you gonna drop that on your damn self. What do you mean? I got one right. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> he's hot though. I could, I would look at myself in the mirror twice too. I picked her up, got a nice handful of like some bunda. I'm an ass man. Some bunda is not the word in, um, from Love Island UK. Got the bunda. What is that from though? Is that from, is that from Dominican culture? I've, I only have heard it in the UK. Is it from a song? Let me know. But he likes it and he chooses Janae. Kenny chooses Janae for a little smoochy smooch. So it looked like Serena was really happy for Janae. Um, so I like that Kenny went after somebody who he's been kind of pursuing and she likes him. She thinks that he was sculpted, that God took his time sculpting him. Uh, so it's nice that he didn't pull a fast one and go and try to make out with someone else. Which boy is the least trustworthy? 
Which boy is the least trustworthy? I mean, I would say Rob, but maybe Kendall would be saying Miguel here. Um, I just have to just take note that he was definitely flexing as he was going down the pole, like one arm, one hand down the pole. It looks pretty strong and pretty, pretty badass. So I, I definitely thought that he was showing off his flex appeal there. Um, so right now, though, I think that he's going to choose Miguel just because he has that thing maybe going on with um, Nicole. Or if he, he or Rob, because Rob is involved in a lot of mess. And I don't think that he was really trustworthy with Leah's heart in the beginning. When the fuck did I ever lie to you? Bro. Oh. You boys got trust issues. Give me one reason. Some people got it too, some people Word gets around. Okay. Yeah, Kendall. Yeah, Kendall. People don't. It's fucking bullshit is what it is. Bro. Let's hear it. Let's fucking hear it, Stop Kendall. You know, hey, it. It, it's a he said, she said. It's like Leah said something, you said something. Oh, so you're not trusted. Mm, only reason I did it was because the Leah and you situation is a little bit murky. No, I'm actually fucking pissed, dude. Like. I what know, are you yeah, because he's worked so hard to re redeem his image, and now you're making him look like, well, if, if his friend thinks he's a liar, then maybe other people think that I'm a liar. Like, he's pissed about this. He's pissed. Like, the situation is quite murky, and the way you're moving is quite odd. So I'm glad he's called it out. But yeah, it was a really hot, steamy kiss. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Glad that he chose Nicole. It seems now that she has eyes on Kendall because he's been giving her her space. Um, and then Miguel seems to be showing some interest in her. So she's happy that Kendall is giving her a kiss here for the challenge. But Leah is recognizing the drama is still being stirred up with her and Rob. <laughs> I, you know, Rob was mad and I was smiling. Whoa. Which boy? Has no game. Oh. Maybe, oh, sweet pea Cordell. It's because he's young. Um, who else might not have any game? Um, I feel like Cordell's the only person that they could really choose in this scenario. Oh. Smoke. <laughs> I forgot about Connor. Connor is great. <laughs> that's that's a perfect answer because Cordell doesn't get his feelings hurt, and uh, Connor fumbled the bag. I didn't think it was like that, but I guess there was some feeling. Wow. So <laughs> Nigel is picking Liz to kiss. Okay, I didn't see that one coming. I guess there's not really that many options right now. Um, maybe there was a conversation that we didn't see between Serena and him. Maybe Serena saying that she's more interested in Cordell. I don't know, because like, you would think that he would have chosen her because they went on the date. Oh, no. <laughs> the all about the flex. I did just that. You know I love my <laughs> It's impressive, but he must have been a gymnast because if he can do um, those handstand push-ups, he can walk on his hands, he can kind of um, angle himself sideways on a pole. Um, he must have done men's gymnastics or he was a Cirque du Soleil performer. I don't know, but it's impressive. Which boy is only here for clout? Oh. <laughs> Which boy is only here for clout? Rob, 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 Rob. But who is he going to say? I think he's going to say Rob. <laughs> ah, surely. Oh. <laughs> Emmy. Why? Whoa. Pop on here, balloon. Drop the mic. Kenny. Now, do we know something? Does he know something that we don't know? 
but I wouldn't have picked Kenny, but I don't know him. You got to be kidding me. Let's go. Is it over? Oh boy. <laughs> Miguel chose Nicole to kiss in the challenge. Kendall is not happy about it. <laughs> if you left tomorrow, which boy do you think would steal your girl? If you left tomorrow, which boy do you think will steal your girl? Who might want to get with Kendall or K Kayler? Um, <laughs> Connor? Connor. We'll say Connor. He's not doing it. He's my boy. Okay. I feel like you got a good personality. You got fucking real abs. And like, I don't know you that well, so you're probably swooping straight away. Kenny, taking some heat, taking some hits. Huh. But he just didn't want his voice to oh, I'm gonna do this for school. Oh. No, I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> Aaron, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Aaron did almost did a swerve and go for Nicole, but then he obviously chooses Kaylor for his smoochy smooch. Which boy would you want to be dumped next? Oh, he's got dumped. I'm really fucking Which mad at Kendall. Which boy do you want to be dumped next? Probably Kendall for what he's considering to probably be a low blow. And I think that's pretty much the only person that he has any beef with at this moment. It was popping his balloon no matter what. Oh, oh shit! Oh. I deserve that. Yeah. Oh, That was so nice. Like, we're friends. Yeah! So he kisses Liv on the cheek. That is to say, like, thanks for sticking up for me. Like, you're on my side. It was just, I think, a way to, like, draw her onto his side and be, like, Team Rob. But he chooses Cassidy for the smoochy smooch. The real one. I wasn't really expecting him to pick me, but I'm glad that he did. Wow. So she wasn't even expecting him to pick her. I guess they haven't been having any conversations. The last time he said he talked to her, he felt that he didn't really know much about her personality, really. So uh, I think that we, we've, we've learned who his new prey is. Um, but yeah. Interesting. I wonder. I wonder how things are going to end up shaking out here. If Rob and her are going to be the next couple. <laughs> He's like the best dancer in the villa, besides myself. I'm impressed with Cordell. <laughs> He's so cute. Um, both me and Shanae are covering her face when he's uh, thrusting against the pole post. Um, but he had some fly moves going down the pole. Okay, Cordell. <laughs> Which boy is your biggest threat in the villa? Biggest threat? I mean, shit. I Biggest threat in the villa. <laughs> I have to just mention that he was definitely heaving and gagging over the protein shake or whatever that was that he had to shake on the moving hoverboard. Uh, biggest threat to him, maybe he'll pick Nigel because he took Serena on that date. I don't have one, but he did take my girl on a date, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh I was trying to be all sexy and shit. Uh, <laughs> Not sexy in that cold plunge. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, generally speaking, black people don't like the cold. So this is, and he's from Texas. So <laughs> this is going to be too cold for him. <laughs> Yeah. 
And of course he chooses Serena. They're cute together. I'm liking their, their vibing today. And she's like, she's rooting for him. Um, this is all cute. It's cute. I mean, it's because I love Cordell so much. So <laughs> it's adorable. And now they're going to make out and I'm going to have to cover my eyes. And I was like, you know, doing a little uh, uh, here. I held her with one arm. It was doing the thing up in there. Yeah, we think the guy with the most flex appeal. So the guy with the most flex appeal, they're going to give it to Cordell for sure. Hands down. Deserve babe. 100 like he's the people's champ for everything <laughs> i really like Miguel. i was like fuck he's hot as fuck but i think mm -hmm. the kiss was good but honestly i would rate even my kiss with kendall better and oh, see good. that's so good I, it gives you clarity I, i'm not saying my mind's 100 percent. okay this is good that you know she enjoyed her kiss with kendall a little bit better than the one with miguel I mean, I just feel like those challenge kisses aren't a good way to see. It could, it could open your eyes to like, ooh, I never kissed that person before. And like, that was pretty good. But I feel like kisses in real life are a better indicator of attraction and chemistry. Because these ones are all for show. And he's like picking you up. And like, it's just not, it's fake passionate. So I don't know if it's fully a way to judge, but if it helps her choose one or the other, then please make a decision. But she's a Libra. Libras are not great at making decisions. And especially within relationships, they always have, they tend to start a new relationship before they end an old one. And so this, this is definitely a, a character for a, a Libra. But I do think I'm leaning one way. I think I'm leaning a little more towards Kendall because I think with Miguel, I was like instantly attracted to him physically. But as I've gotten to know him, I don't know if that connection is going to be stronger than what me and Kendall have. How are your kisses? Yeah, obviously. Feel it's nice to hear that um, she doesn't think that her connection with Miguel is as strong as the one that she has with Kendall. Um, and that's because... Kendall has a personality. Kendall's a nice guy. Miguel is an F boy. And F boys, I think one of the reasons why they are an F boy is because they don't actually get into relationships and start and, and get to a deeper level uh, and, and compatibility and camaraderie and all that with a, a, a partner. And so I think he lacks, like, once you get past the physical attraction, what's left what else is there and so i don't know if he knows how to get past that or bring that out and so that's he just stays an f boy for life it wasn't a bad kiss that she had with nigel okay that's pretty good but she's just about to say but so let's hear what she has to say i just don't feel it no but i'm also very much like okay like don't cut everything off straight away if you don't feel an initial spark. Like people grow. He just got in here. He's not. Yeah. Had oh, so she doesn't feel a spark with him. She's not attracted to black people, but you know, <laughs> she has somebody that she can feign some interest in for a recoupling, I guess. Because who else is she going to choose? She doesn't really have any other options right now. So. Before, if Nicole was going to choose Miguel, then maybe she would be choosing uh, Kendall. That's someone that she was her number two. But, or maybe she, oh no, she got binned off by, uh, by Miguel. So he's not really an option anymore. So what choice does she have right now? Looking some sort of way in that costume. One, like, one. She Damn. always looks fucking sexy, I swear. <laughs> Those little black panties she wears around all the time, bro. <laughs> hmm. yeah. so i'm wondering because they're sexualizing Liv right now i mean obviously she's a beautiful girl she's a beautiful body um first connor is telling her to wear that outfit all the time uh, she calls them pervy so she could probably feel them ogling her and then rob and this group is aaron um are kind of saying that oh she always looks hot or oh, she always looks really good and rob really likes her in these short shorts that she wears around um 
I'm wondering if Rob is sexually attracted to blondes because he picked Cassidy for the kiss and the challenge. He is obviously thinking that Liv is always looking hot, always looking sexy. He is sexually, definitely sexually attracted to Andrea and was willing to leave Leah for Andrea. And he said that the reason was because he wasn't as attracted to Leah as he was to Andrea. So I'm wondering if Rob just is sexually attracted to blondes more than brunettes and other, you know? Hmm. I just want to give you a heart and be like, yo, we're my dog. Like everyone's fucking... Like, yeah. like I got the one that was like the that could cut anyone the deepest. I'm like Rob's really one of my best friends in here, but it I got, doesn't really feel like that at all. Because if you thought for half a second, you thought about my feelings and her feelings, like yeah. throwing that back out in the open. I know, bro. I know. And if you're friends with her, that's that's just fucking dumb. And I lost some respect for you. I'm not gonna lie. So now you lost some respect for him. It it's because he's guilty a little bit. If he listens, like things are a little bit murky and weird with you and Leah, and like I'm hearing both sides, and it just seems like, you know, you what you were saying wasn't really lining up with your actions, and I just felt that you were the only person that I could think of that had something that was a little murky, as he says. So he's so dramatic, Rob. Hey, dude, you know all that dumbass. Dude, dude. so fucking dumb. I know. Thanks for owning up to it. Let's never talk about it again. Never, can we never talk about? Can friends. we never talk about this again? Yes. Just play ping pong and not yes. lie about the score. Yeah. Okay. We're good, dude. Right. Like seriously, I had to like. <laughs> whatever, the guys get off so easily. <laughs> but whatever, it wasn't a, actually a big deal. He had to pretend like he was mad. <laughs> well, actually, I do think he is mad. Was mad because you know it shines a light on him being kind of shady. But they got over it pretty quick because Kendall seemed to be like, you're your friend, Rob. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. You could have seen all the fish okay. together. Mm, I, Why? Know. Like, I mean, I'm glad Miguel got to go. I know. Honestly, time. as I was walking over to his bed, I like saw you in bed alone. I was like, should I? I'm like, damn, I don't know. No, so Rob was a little bit jealous of the fact that she chose Miguel for the date. And he would have loved to see all the fish with her. And he's even more jealous knowing that she was maybe second guessing her decision on choosing Miguel to go on the date. Uh, right now he's laying on the flirt and it does, uh, I mean, Andrea who? Andrea who? Uh, he looks like he's connecting here. I mean, obviously it's gonna be a women's uh, coupling that's recoupling that's happening shortly and he wants to get picked. So there's that, but he looks like he's laying on the charm with the Cassidy and that's her name, right? Yes, Cassette Cassidy. And she's eating it up. She likes him so far, from my perspective, anyways. Thinking about like yeah. him. Like I want him to be happy. I hope he like really likes Cass or Liv. I know like You think he's interested in Liv as well? I don't know. Really? Well Ooh, tea. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I like gossip. <laughs> I don't know. He kissed her on the cheek before he kissed her. That was actually really cute, you know? Um, so they're having a real conversation. I haven't really seen him have real conversations with people. He, he immediately started this, this, he, he wanted to lead it into maybe a little sexual thing when he comes and sits over and like, we're all alone. Let's start going at it. Okay. But that was just kind of flirty. Just kind of get her guard down, get her giggling or whatever. And then she, he goes right into seeing her side i mean like hey like i felt really bad for you at that moment you're calling live over to be someone that was going to like side with you and like protect you and then you have both of them going out out of it at at you and you're just sitting in there like in the middle like a dickhead and so he saw the situation and like i feel like he he doesn't know all the details obviously but like he felt some empathy for her and i thought i like that that he was kind of noticing and realizing that he could protect her a little bit or like notice that she needed that notice the situation he was observing it and then he was just being like she was saying like i just don't want to talk about the situation anymore i hope he's happy i hope that things with live with cassidy like he's like he needs to be true about that um and maybe live and like i was like why you think that he's interested in Liv? And she's like, well, I don't know. And he's like, oh, tea. <laughs> like, he got so excited about tea. And this was the first time I've seen him kind of in a boyfriend scenario. Um, 
you know, guys like to say that they don't gossip, but sometimes men are the biggest gossips. And so the fact that like he was wanted to get some tea with her, I thought was cute, A. And I think it put her at ease and had gave her someone to talk to. Um, I thought it was really, really cute. Not to say like we want to gossip, but you're in a house of gossip right now. And I'm doing recaps because I like gossiping about this show. So I like gossip, but I like people that want to talk about things that are going on. Uh, no. Is that bad? I've definitely, you've definitely had my eye for a little minute. I don't know if you could tell. Can't tell you where your heart is been. <laughs> He's a flirt. He's cute. Um, will they kiss now? I think she's gonna lead in for a kiss. She's gonna she's gonna say something like, "You didn't kiss me in the challenge," and yes, I was feeling a type of way about it, but you can kiss me now. So, what do you think I can get to know you a little bit more? But you wanna kiss me? I have lipstick on though. You can put it on me. <laughs> My lips are chaps. Well, I knew a kiss was gonna be coming. <laughs> um, he's like, you want to kiss me? And she's like, I have lipstick on. And he's like, you can put it on me. And my lips are chapped, and they go at it with a kiss. Now, will anybody see them? Whoop. <laughs> Who do I want to see them? Rob to see them, that'd be fun. Um, Nicole to see them, that'd be fun. <laughs> Holy shit, just hit the fan, baby. <laughs> good shit, good shit. Oh shit, <laughs> that's some good shit. It is, so who saw that? Was it Nicole? Nicole, Kayla, Connor. Was Janae there? Uh, Nigel. It's a whole lot of them. <laughs> nice. Obviously, it's like tough to see Leah move on that quick. Kind of makes you question what she was thinking the whole time we were together. Feels like she was lying to me most of the time we were together. But it is what it is. Aren't they broken up now? And you hate her? Like, I can't remember. Wait, and didn't you also give Miguel the green light? It was Miguel, yeah, yeah. Anyways, I mean, I know I would be hurt too if like you, you thought you had something going and then she chose to twist and then now she's kissing someone new, especially when she wasn't being affectionate with you. It would hurt, but I'm not mad at her. Nice. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Islander, it's night there be a recoupling. Oh. What? The girls will choose and the boy not pigs will be dumped from the island. Hashtag girls in control. Hashtag who runs the world. Girls oh. run the world. Girls. <laughs> oh. Very single in here. The only girl that's like really kind of caught my eye has been Cass. I'm just kind of sitting here like, does this girl like me at all? I don't know, I'm nervous. Does, has Connor even ever explored Liv? Because Liv would be a potential option to get to know. I don't even think they've ever had a conversation. And he did just comment on her being hot in her workout outfit. So I'm wondering why he's never pulled her for a chat or seen if they, they have anything in common. Like all of his eggs are in Cass's basket, but she's new. Like why, he never even seemingly gave Liv a chance. First to decide which boy she wants to couple up with is Serena, who is currently coupled up with Cordell, but has also been on a date with Nigel. I haven't had the easiest time in here, especially with the pace that I've moved and he's been extremely understanding, loving, and makes me feel extremely good about myself. Aww, Cordell is just such a sweet pea. Don't let those boys change you into hating Leah and stuff. Just don't listen to them. But still keep being you. 
uh, you're just such a great little guy. <laughs> I say little because you're young, but you're so sweet. And I think that Serena is going to choose him. Cordell. I check the boxes. Mom and my Mimi will actually adore this guy, and I can see my family and him being besties for a very long time. <laughs> And I know he will take care of my mom. <laughs> this is cute. So, you know, Aaron probably feels good. I think it's the first time that she's done a speech for him. Has it been? I don't remember. But uh, we, know, we know that Aaron's getting chosen here by Kayla. No doubt. The boy I want to couple up with is Aaron. <laughs> I think at the end of the day that I have to do what's best for myself and so I think that he's choosing she's choosing Rob but I wonder if she's rethinking this decision the fact that he's wearing those damn overalls um choosing between Connor and Rob here he has to she has to be choosing Rob because Rob is, I think is who she was coming in from before the producers are probably urging her to choose him uh, lucky overalls. <laughs> I, yeah, I just don't see Rob going home. Even though in in the change room, Rob was kind of making it seem like, I don't know who it is. It could be other one of us. Just don't think about it. Like, we don't know what's going to happen. Connor was thinking like, oh, I think it's going to be me. Like, I don't think she's going to choose me. And I think that I'm going to end up going home because Leah's not going to choose me. And he's like, Rob's like, Leah's not going to choose me. Um. But I think that Rob knows that he's going to get chosen. He laid it on, not thick, but he made it clear that he was upset that she didn't choose him for the date. And she was kind of like, oh my God, you would have wanted me to choose him for the Like, she seemed flattered, so. And I think that there could be something more, so I do want to explore that. The boy I want to couple up with is... You. Rob. Oh, get out of here! Oh, the, like he's always just so shocked. Please. <laughs> so, Kayla just asked Aaron if he feels better now, and he says no. Now, I'm the piecing things together. So I think why Aaron is so mad at Leah is because he is in love with both Connor and Rob. You saw that when Kaylor picked him, he kissed both Rob and Connor on the cheek before he went to kiss Kendall, to court Kaylor and sit down. Now Kaylor is asking if he feels better now. And I'm assuming that Rob got chosen by Cassidy. But he shakes his head no, because he needs both Rob and Connor to be chosen. And the fact that Leah is the one that is making Connor be vulnerable, I think that that is why Aaron is so mad at Leah and want, like, it's just like, oh, like now Leah doesn't like Connor. Like, and now my, my, my other best friend in the villa is going to be vulnerable. I think that that's why she's so angry with her. It all is making sense now. I am developing real feelings for this boy. So it looks like it's going to be Kendall. Um, she's already stated a few times this episode that she feels like she's being drawn more towards Kendall. She th thought that it was really sexy how confident he came across with him not her not him not being worried about her exploring Miguel. She thought he thought that his kiss was better than Miguel's, or she liked it better anyways. And so she's been leaning towards Kendall um, for the most part of this episode. I actually wonder if it's because he was like, deuces, I'm twisting. And it forced her to like decide, okay, actually, I don't want to lose this guy. 
I wonder, because, you know, as soon as someone w walks away, you're going to want to chase them. So I wonder if, if him doing that actually jump started her desire for him more. Because she thought she was actually going to lose him. Hmm. So maybe the game worked. The boy I want to couple up with is... Kendall. I am happy that, like, oh my God, I'm almost gonna cry. <laughs> Where's that coming from? Um, I think that like, he really likes her a lot and it was really hurting him that she was exploring Miguel and wasn't gonna be all in on him. And the fact that he, she's, made it clear that it's him that she wants to pursue i think the role he has relief he has happiness like i'm i feel i'm happy and everybody in the villa is really happy for it look oh look at how serena is smiling even K kendall court dell oh my god these k names um is just smiling just so happy for him so i'm really happy that nicole did, did this you are w working your way back up into my good books and I'm not gonna lie to anyone. This decision was so hard. You should take one if you need it, but you really but shouldn't need it. I have to follow my heart and just go for someone who I could make a connection with. She's so torn up, so that means she must not be choosing one of the well, she's not gonna be choosing Kenny. Um, we haven't seen her have one conversation with him. And I think that Kenny is going to be chosen by Janae. Um, she's not going to choose Miguel because Miguel already pied her. Um, and I think Leah's going to choose him. He, she's not going to choose. Well, I guess it's right now it's between Connor and Nigel and we already see Aaron crying. So maybe she does choose Nigel. Why didn't, I'm just so confused as to why she didn't make a better connection with Connor. He's been here longer. I know he's been with Leah, but like, did he just not make any other connections? It's just so odd that she is likely going to choose Nigel because He's been putting in some effort and Connor seemingly hasn't. I don't know. I'm guessing Nigel. Process of elimination. So the boy I'd like to couple up with is... Nigel. I'm so sorry, God. Yeah, like, what did Connor not do to, like, not get chosen being in the villa for longer? Like, wow. He just, like, would have had to have, like, two conversations with Liv, and she would have chosen him. Is there going to be a lot of vim for uh, Liv now, Aaron, or are you still going to put all that hate on Leah? This wasn't a difficult decision because... He came in here giving me all of the energy that I've been waiting for and wanting. I mean, so of course she's using Kenny, but <laughs> I already said it, I think, too. I, I she she was has been waiting for people to get someone to give her some energy. So I hope, Kenny, that you're going to stay true to this vibe. It seems like you're into her. Um, I'm happy that she has somebody that she can possibly date like and, and something can go somewhere and I, I i feel pretty good about this so the boy i would like to couple up with is Kenny. it was a nice hug that he gives her um I, I realized how messy the producers are. So they do want Aaron to hate Leah um, because she has to choose between Connor, who she was, you know, uh, partnered up with, and Miguel, who she just made out with. So they are going to be pissed at Leah again. I hope that I am making the right decision by just trusting myself 
Such a cruel game. Oh, Aaron's gonna be pissed. She's choosing Miguel. Aaron is gonna be pissed. Pissed, pissed, pissed. Pissed. The boy I would like to couple up with is. Miguel. It's a world between my head and my heart. And Rob was just like giving her such disdain. Like if she, if he had never broken up with Leah, there would have been no Connor and Leah. Connor would have stayed with Janae until maybe somebody else came in. Like, you know, you were the catalyst of, of Connor getting involved with Leah. And I think that Connor should have not have bothered getting involved with Rob, his bestie's ex, you know? Um, and yeah, you were, you guys both didn't like what she was doing. You thought that she was shitty. You weren't making her feel great about herself. So of course, somebody that's making her feel a little bit better about herself, she's going to choose. And she's attracted to him, it seems. So sorry that it's not going to work out for you guys, but I guess you're going to have to be mad at Leah some more. You've all just taken me in and made me feel so at home here. And I didn't expect that. So it must have been love. leaving here smiling for but sure. It's over now. I'm crying a little bit. I feel bad. He he was on my shit list for what he did with Janae. If he had if he had treated Janae night more like in a different way, maybe she would have ended up choosing him or you know, he just, like, why didn't Liv choose him? I don't understand that either. But Leo's gonna get all the blame for sure. Friendship level. Connor is just such a good guy. I wish I could have given him what he needed. I feel very terrible that I couldn't. Have we packed the American flag yet? But they're still gonna be mad at you, Leo, because you weren't honest with him sooner. And I guess then he would have had an opportunity to maybe start talking to someone else. Like, I don't know. But it is sad that he's going. Everybody's pretty, pretty bummed out. And like, I do like the fact that he just made some good connections. And that's one thing that I love about these reality TV experiences is the bonds that you make with people that you would never meet in your life. I think it's really cool. So I'm happy that he uh, notices that and appreciates it and is going out smiling, he said. With liking the same women. It really, really sucked knowing that me staying meant him leaving. I genuinely can say that I feel extremely lucky to have come back just for meeting him because I do think we'll be friends for a really, really long time. I mean, I believe that all these guys are going to be really good friends. They do seem to be a pretty tight new group of guys. Um, and... <laughs> I thought he was going to say when he was like, oh, it really sucks that me and Connor have the same taste of women. And I thought they're going with Leah screwing him over. But he does say the fact that him staying um, with Cassidy basically meant that he was likely going to be leaving. So uh, that is true. That is true. Maybe you guys should have left let Rob leave and then Connor would still be in, in the game, you know? But I guess they both couldn't be in the villa together anymore. Download the Love Island USA app and vote for who you think is the most compatible couple. The couple with the fewest votes will be vulnerable and at risk of being dumped from the island. Okay, it's wild that they're doing a, a voting so soon after recoupling. You don't even know if you like the vibe of these people. I, like, I would just have to assume that in the bottom is going to be uh, Janae and Kenny. Nigel and Liv and um who else don't they like and probably Leah and Miguel it's probably going to be who are in the bottom actually maybe no Leah's fans might pull her up Rob's fans will pull him up uh maybe they'll go I don't know how they feel about Nicole and Kendall right now 
maybe it'll be Nicole and Kendall and then Rob and Cassie will be saved, Leah and Miguel. Um, Serena and Cordell will be, will be fine. And who was last people? Anyways, I think that Janae, Janae and, oh my gosh, Janae and Kenny, Nigel and Liv, and maybe Nicole and Kendall might be in the bottom. But like, I think it's too soon to do a vote. It's kind of bullshit. Well, we have done it. We've almost made it to Casa more. Um, I, I have seen the people, but I think that maybe um, I'll do a separate little video just taking a look at who's going to be coming in for Casa more. So it said three days. So Saturday, Sunday, I guess on Monday, Casa more will start. So they'll do the final dumping before Casa more on Sunday. Um, I think it's really dumb though that they're doing it so soon after a recoupling we don't know if we like the vibe of these people together um it's going to be likely that all the black people are going to be in the bottom because that's just how these votes roll and they also are the people that are going to be in like well i think that cordell and serena will be fine because everybody loves cordell so much and um i do like when Serena's giving him energy and I think that like it's just like a nice vibe between the two of them and after that challenge where Cordell won um the flex appeal uh I think that I think that they're going to be fine like is Leah I can't tell if Leah has enough fans to keep her out of the bottom is either going to be Leah and Miguel or um what's his name kendall and nicole they might not have liked nicole what nicole did um i don't know it's too soon though i feel like it's unfair but that's the way love goes and love island goes um it just sucks also that it, People, two people do not deserve to go home right before Casa, especially all these new couples that haven't even had a chance to hang out before you're deciding whether or not they, they should stay in the villa or not. Maybe we could be lucky and people are, don't actually vibe with Rob and they put Rob and Cassidy in the bottom. But it's like you, you brought in bombshells and then you're having them dumped two days later. It's so wild. It just doesn't make sense to me. Anyways, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Ding. Like this video and let me know who you think are going to be the couples that are going to be dumped on Sunday. I'm not, I, I mean, I like the recoupling that there's new couples and like there's a, they don't even have like one sleep together and one morning together as a couple and one day together as a couple before we're voting on who is the most compatible or is that what they're voting on? I can't remember, but they're voting on something about the couples. So, <sighs> oh, well, what can you do? What can you do? All right. So leave your thoughts on th how soon this dumping is going to be um, in accordance to them recoupling. And how do you feel about Connor being the one going? How did you feel about Leah um, deciding to choose Miguel? How do you feel about Liv deciding to choose Nigel? And how do you feel about Cassidy deciding to choose Rob? All three of those women just decided not to choose Connor. Oh, and Janae chose Kenny. Uh, yeah, Kenny and not Connor. So, hmm. Wonder what's going on there. Anyways, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment.